What's going on you guys? Um, today is going to be a different video for th this time. It's not the IBM ThinkPad T21. It's the Toshiba Satellite 4015 CDT. Before I get started, I tried to get it on the internet when I was trying to experiment to see if it can handle the internet. I tried to use this generic wireless card because my Netgear card didn't wasn't compatible with it. I don't I wish I had another a good wireless card but I tried to use my this generic shitty one. It seemed to not work. But I but I was like, "Oh well, at least I'm going to just show Windows XP running on this thing for just for demonstrations." But this is going to be temporary for the computer. So I did this for just for shits and giggles, putting the card back in. Even though it's not going to be able to connect to the internet because it's a crappy card. But I'm going to go ahead and show you Windows XP running on this Toshiba. So I, I must have said that already twice with my rambling. Without further ado, let's turn it on. And it's running close to its minimum requirements. The actual system requirements of Windows XP is 64 megabytes of RAM and a 233 megahertz processor. Sorry, let me hold the camera still. And as you see, I um, did a clean installation of Windows XP, which I already said it's going to be temporary. It's not going to stay on this computer for long, because I am going to put... I'm also going to try different operating systems, just for the fun. To entertain with you guys. And, um, yeah, it's booting up already. I already did some tweaking whenever I, um, was playing around with it. I disabled all the visual effects. I even disabled indexing, and I turned off some of the services, including the, um, theme support, which actually, um, I turned off Luna, the Luna theme, which is the default theme in Windows XP. So we should be booting up. And, that, and this computer is running Windows XP with 160 megabytes of RAM and a 266 megahertz Intel Pentium 2 with MMX technology. And I'm going to show it to you right now when we get to system properties. And this is actually Windows XP Professional with Service Pack 3. And there's the um, Pentium 2 with the 266 megahertz and the 160 megabytes of RAM. And I also had the automatic updates turned off as well. But who cares about the updates? And as you see, I tried to get the internet to work, but... But that was a... Uh, But you can um, play music with, you can use Windows Media Player to have it, for just a basic machine, just to play music and play the generic games, like, let's see what they got, Free Cell, Heart, except the internet games, you can play Minesweeper, Pinball, Solitaire, and Spider Solitaire, the ones that I usually like to play Solitaire. I, ch I even got Office 2003 installed without no problem. It's good to use whenever you to, to do like cert special like take notes and stuff like that. It, see, it handles it with no problem. I just, I'm just typing all generic crap. And you can even pull up stuff with a little flash drive because there's a USB port in the back. It's, I think it's USB 1.0 or 1.1. I think actually 1.0. And it's using a crappy screen resolution. It's actually using 800 by 600. Because that's the actual system resolution on this monitor. That's built in on, you know, actual on the screen. Ain't hardly nothing to show. I even tried to install C Cleaner, which works. I'll probably show you the generic games. 
And I can even maneuver it around with the arrow keys on my keyboard. Let's see if I can do this. Play a little solitaire. I used to play this a lot on Windows 98 back in the days. On the win I remember back when the, when, when they used to have these on the when I was in hot in school. When they used to have this game on the computer, the teachers would get so pissed at us for playing the solitaire. They're like, "Get off the of solitaire!" Or get off the card games, or they'd make sometimes make you get off the computer if they see the card games. I understand the reason why they do that is probably because they don't they think it's probably gambling or something. They're like y'all don't need to be on there playing them cards. But there's workarounds to get into solitaire because a lot of machines. Some school machines have XP still on them. Some of the older machines around the certain certain schools have them. All you just gotta do is go into the command, go into the run menu and type sol.exe, which is sol.exe, or you can do mshearts.exe to get to Microsoft Hearts. Yeah, there's a lot of workarounds. Unless if they removed it from the add remove programs. And if you want, you could easily get it by um, going to, in Windows 98, you can just go to the add remove programs and do the, you can add it from there from using the Windows setup tab. But oh well, let's quit messing around with Solitaire. I even made the icon smaller because of the size of the screen. It didn't. It did pick up all the drivers. The only driver it didn't pick up was the video driver. The video driver I had to get it off of some random website. That I think it was Driver Guide. Well, there ain't much to show. I'm going to show you the actual hard drive size in this machine. It's a 20 gig. And I'm only using like about a gig. And, it's, and it has like 16 gigabytes free. It's actually a 20 gig, but it says for the capacity is 18.6. Because that's how it reads it in Windows. With certain hard drives. So, enough of my rambling and moving the camera around a little bit. So let's go ahead and shut it down and show you how it shuts down. So stay tuned for more videos. And this week I might do a Google Plus Hangout, which you guys are welcome to come join. And um, just let me know if you want to come join in. And, uh, and I'll be happy to let you come talk. Because this is going to be basically about computer stuff and stuff for upcoming videos. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and talk to you guys later. Bye.